Hi, this is Katie Fahrenbacher with Gigom, and I'm here in sunny Sunnyvale, California at the headquarters of Bloom Energy. Uh, and I'm standing in front of a fuel cell, and this is Awesome Hussein, who's product director of product marketing for Bloom Energy. And uh, Awesome's gonna tell us about their next generation fuel cell and give us a sneak peek, a very rare sneak peek. This is the ES5700, which is our new 200 kilowatt unit. So our old unit used to be 100 kilowatts, and now we've now in the same footprint, we have 200 kilowatts. And it consists of now six independent power generation modules with fuel cells in them and one input output module at the end. Okay, so you're cramming double the power modules into the same space. Exactly. Okay. So our customers now can use less space and have um, a greater amount of power. Okay. And uh, it's highly efficient. So the first units that we shipped uh, when we started selling commercial product were in the high 40s in terms of efficiency. This is now over 60% inefficiencies as we install it at customer sites. Okay, so boosted by 20% in efficiency between the old one and the new one. Correct. And in fact, the power module technology that's in the new systems, we also install those same power modules on the older systems as upgrades as their power modules degrade. We're okay. able to actually enhance our old customer sites as well. Okay. And when did you start selling these to your customers? Uh, right at the turn of the year, so at the start of 2012. So these are have now been in, we have a number of these in the field at different customer sites. Okay, and then the price, about the same? It's in the same range as it was, but as I said before, you have enhanced efficiency and better use of footprint, as well as enhanced reliability, because now you have six independent power generation units. And what I mean by enhanced reliability is that if any one of those units um, has to be repaired or taken offline for any reason, the other five keep generating power. Okay. So the customer actually never sees a big drop uh, in the power that they're receiving at their site. Okay. And I know Bloom Energy, a uh, 10-year-old company, right? Sure. And so over the past decade, you've been working on dropping the cost of manufacturing. Is sure. the cost any different in terms of this fuel cell versus the original model? So at this point, Katie, I can't really comment on the cost side. Uh, but what I could say is it's a big you know, progression in terms of the feature sets that we have as well as the technology, the energy density of the product, efficiency, um, and also in terms of it being now an energy platform. This new system now can actually provide both what's called grid parallel power, meaning it just mirrors what's happening on the electric grid, as well as independent power. So now it's far more reliable. Not only is it 24-7, 365, but at some of our customers now, they're going to be able to install this and not experience any interruption from the grid where the Bloom Energy server is going to power their most critical business processes. So what does that mean? That means they can be completely grid independent if they want? It's not completely grid independent. What it means is we're changing the energy paradigm where now the grid is the backup and we're the primary power source for their most important business processes. Okay, and I know you guys have been moving into the data center world. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that part of this new plan with the, to create, uh, to have resiliency within the power? Sure, certainly. So uh, we were very excited about our mission critical practice with Peter Gross joining our team. And actually the same energy platform has those feature sets that'll enable us to serve data center customers as well. Okay. And then for our viewers that maybe don't know how a fuel cell works, sure. can you take us through kind of how the Bloom server sure. all so, goes together? Yeah, so essentially we start with a cell. It's a 25 watt uh, square, like a playing card size um, cell, which is coated with a anode and a cathode side, much like a battery. And what happens is fuel flows over one side of the cell, which is natural gas typically, and we have air on the other side. So the oxygen and the fuel react through the cell in order to create electricity without any combustion. That being the most important part. So you get very high efficiency because you're going straight from the energy in the fuel to actual electricity. And you don't get any harmful emissions because you're not combusting anything in the system. And it works at a very high efficiency. So what we do is we have thousands of those cells in the system and each one of those is assembled into a power module, which becomes an independent power generator within each Bloom Energy server. Those produce DC power natively, which then comes to the input-output module on the system, and then comes out as AC power after being inverted. Okay, 
And then within all these modules, there's stacks, right? Correct. Of these cells and right. then the chemicals, the oxygen and the natural gas right. flow over the stack and produce that. Right? Correct. Okay. And I know one of the things is that um, you guys have been improving the length of the stack mm -hmm. and the time that it takes, you're increasing the time that it takes. Sure. Um, do you, can you talk about on the next generation fuel cell versus the original, sure. like how long that would take? So we're continuously improving on that front. Uh, what I can tell you is we take care of that in our customer agreements. So for whatever length of time the customer deploys a Bloom Energy server, we take care of any replacements that are required and always maintain a high level of efficiency as well as output. So another really interesting thing about what Bloom Energy is doing is that you monitor every single cell. Tell me about that. Correct. So we monitor all our Bloom Energy servers that are in the field in real time. Uh, we have a remote monitoring and control center where our uh, service technicians and monitoring technicians are looking at the systems constantly and they're looking to optimize the output and efficiency all the time for our customer sites. And if there were to be any kind of service issue or repair issue, uh, we're able to react very, very quickly because we have that detailed level of information on every system. Okay, so you do real-time monitoring for efficiency, say, for security and for Power output. customer and get, okay. Correct. And then sometimes they want like a customer, they want a monthly report, kind of to dig into all the data Absolutely. about their Absolutely, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's their data in terms of the power output as well as the efficiency of the system. So we share as required with the customer either on a monthly basis or even in some cases um, in a real-time basis uh, information straight to the customer. Hmm, interesting. And then today, you guys are announcing also one of the largest fuel cell installations in the United States, right, in, mm -hmm. in Delaware. Correct, so we're announcing you know, two key events in Delaware. One is a 30 megawatt project with Delmarva, which is the Delaware utility. And we'll be deploying the largest fuel cell installation, which will be 150 of these 200 kilowatt units um, in Delaware, cells. that's a lot, and that is the largest U.S. Uh, utility fuel cell installation. Um, as well as we're also breaking ground for our Delaware factory where we are now going to be expanding our operations to serve the East Coast as well. So we've been focused on California thus far and with our new facility that we're going to build in Delaware, we're now going to be able to produce units um, for the East Coast and eventually for our international markets as well. Okay, and then most of the Bloom Energy fuel cells have been sold in California, right, to date? That's correct. And then this is an expansion for you guys? Right, this is a geographic expansion for us into the northeast section of the country. Okay, and I know you're not going to answer this, but I did a report about how I thought you guys were powering Apple's mm -hmm. data center with the fuel cell farm. So, any news? Can you give us any sneak peeks on that? I can't, really can't comment on that at all. Okay. And just to get back to Sunnyvale, you yep. guys um, have these two factories, you have two plants, mm -hmm. um, and you've, pretty, you've grown your production kind of pretty dramatically over the past couple of years. Like, how fast have you grown? Well, we've essentially uh, more than quadrupled our uh, production levels here in Sunnyvale, mm -hmm. and then we'll be um, matching that and more uh, with the expansion to Delaware. Okay. Well, good luck to you guys, Asim, and thank you so much for showing the fuel cell. We appreciate it. Thank you.